Welcome back to another Film Geek Movie Review. Today after the day job, I am off to check out the new comedy, Jewels, starring Ben Kingsley, Harriet Sampson Harris, and Jane Curtin. This tells the story of an elderly man who, well, has a spaceship crash in his backyard and tear up his flower bed. And he doesn't really like that too awful much, but he helps out the alien that's inside, and well, there you go. That's all I have. That's what the trailer tells me. This is a Bleecker Street film, which is interesting. I was kind of talking to Charming Amy about this the other day, that lately we've seen a lot of pretty decent movies come out of this studio, especially like independent films. Let's see, recently I saw The Lesson, and that one's Bleecker Street. Last year we had Mr. Malcolm's List, and uh, there was another one, but I can't think of it right off the top of my head. Oh, Breaking, Breaking. That was also really good with John Boyega. So, for me at least, Bleecker Street has put out a lot of really good films, so I'm really curious to whether or not Jules is going to match up to all of the other films that I have seen from this studio. So enough of me sitting here talking about it, I gotta go see a man about a spaceship! Welcome back. Just getting home. And you know what, guys? This movie was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this movie. And this is another one of those, uh, I feel like it lays more in the comedy area, but it is definitely kind of one of those dramedy films. There is definitely some emotion in this film. All right, so normally I have, you know, the breakup, negatives, then positives. But this is one of those events that I absolutely love. I got nothing bad to say about this movie. This film is great. I really enjoyed it. This is a fun heartwarming kind of film that at the end of it you're just filled well filled with just such joy and happiness i mean seriously it's just one of those films that does it for you a lot of that has to do with the performances oh wow all of the actors all of our main cast in this film do, do outstanding jobs in their roles they're really great and the chemistry between the three lead actors is fantastic you can tell they're not necessarily old friends but they are folks that have lived in a small town together for a very long time and they're very well aware of each other and who they are in the town and so on and so forth. So they end up bonding and becoming very close friends as the film progresses and I liked that. I thought it was a really neat way of just kind of how these people somehow could be around us our entire lives and then all of a sudden we finally talk to them and go, hey, geez, what do you know? We actually have something in common. It was a really kind of a unique little thing that they threw into the film. As I said, the film is funny. It's not just heartwarming and full of drama. It's a very funny film. This is one of those movies where the, yes, there are a lot of aging jokes, but they're not poking fun at the elderly. You know, a lot of movies like that where the comedy depends on the older people, they like to throw in a lot of just like, look at me, I'm a silly old dude. This movie doesn't do that. These are very good, well-flushed-out characters who are dealing with their own problems and their own things, but they're also really funny and they're very charismatic. The story of this film is great. One thing I would like to give a shout out to this movie is it is one hour and 27 minutes long. Wow, and guess what? It actually tells an entire story in a small amount of time. You just, one of those films, it's just a neat 
nice little package that once you unwrap it, it's much bigger on the inside, just like the TARDIS. And that's what we like here at the Film Geek. Little fun, independent films that make you think a little bit or even bring out the joy. Movies like this are great because they have such a great emotion attached to the films that just really help these movies along so much. One other thing about this movie too is the alien. I really enjoyed the character design. They did an excellent job, much like E.T., definitely making something that was out of this world, but at the same time grounding it enough that we look it looks familiar enough to us and not something that's going to scare you, but also keeping a very awesome and unique design that is just set for this film. It's perfect for this film. The, uh, the alien is great. The person who does the, I guess you would say, puppeteering, the person in the costume, um, there is no point in this entire film. I mean, obviously, the character can't speak. They don't have, uh, the, they're from another planet. So this character actually really communicates with their eyes. It's very cool. And at some points, you can just tell exactly what this person is, are alien is thinking by just looking at their eyes and i gotta say that is some absolutely fantastic acting for a person in a suit character great stuff all around guys this is a fun take your parents to go see this movie kind of film sit down with your mom on a nice afternoon and say hey i got a good fun ben kingsley film for us to watch because this is the kind of movie that does that it, again it gives you the warm and fuzzies but it also takes you on a very well-earned emotional roller coaster ride. This is not something that's just going to make you laugh. You're going to cry. You're going to feel a little bit of excitement in this movie. It's got pretty much anything and everything that you would want. So you know what? Bleecker Street. Holy smokes, this is another good one. I, did I mention Mr. Malcolm's list in the... Uh, I think that was the one I was thinking of. I can't remember. I honestly can't remember what I said in the intro when it came to Bleecker Street films. But so far, the ones that I can think of that I have seen, this studio has done a great job. I'm pretty sure they're an independent stu uh, studio. So if you have are not familiar with their films, check them out. So far, they're all winners for me. So if you ask me, should you see this film in theaters, I give you a solid resounding yes. If you've done everything and you want to see a new movie, this is the one to go see in theaters this weekend, in my opinion, if you want to a break from all of the ordinary stuff out there. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks again for checking out The Film Geek. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notification. And of course, give me the thumbs up so I know you like what you're seeing. And if there's one more thing you can do, folks, that is keep watching movies. You know I'm gonna.